Hi, my name is David Fine. I've had this crazy passion for butterflies and moths for as long as I can remember. I've been studying these creatures for my entire life, and I can't believe that I'm still discovering new things. And I want to make sure I share what I'm discovering with you. That's why we created the Keys Moths YouTube channel, and we're inviting you to come and join us on our adventure as we get an up close and personal look at the insect world. My amazing family and I live down here in sunny South Florida. We absolutely love it down here. And we have a huge passion for the outdoors and shining a light on the largely unseen world of butterflies and moths. Since 1999, we've been involved in a research project down the Florida Keys. Our goal is to identify as many moth species as possible. And so far, we've identified 590 species of moths. That's a huge number. I heard a wise man once say, you can't protect what you don't know is there. So this information has been uh, very helpful to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in their efforts to protect the natural resources down the Florida Keys. In fact, there's never been a comprehensive survey of moths done in the Florida Keys. That's why our project is so valuable. Here at Keys Moths, we have a huge emphasis on education. Noemi and I absolutely love getting outside, walking down trails, exploring, taking our kids, our family, and friends along with us. In fact, we do a lot of uh, educational programs in which we involve the public to c come outside, get our kids off of our electronic devices, and get their hands dirty and learn about these creatures through hands-on experience. And we hope that for years to come, the next generation will be prompted to love, protect, respect, and preserve these creatures. So, Sophia, tell me about Keys Moths. How's it been fun for you? Um, I've learned that most most animals or most um, moths and butterflies are camouflaged, and some might be like right behind me, and you, you, you don't even, even know, know it. it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> I love it when you just turn the light on, and all the moths come into the sheet. And sometimes you might even get a swarm of moths in your face. <laughs> and I've actually swallowed one before, but oh, you swallowed it's okay. A moth? It's okay. So, Lorenzo, what's your favorite moth? Um, Eumorpha labresca. Eumorpha labresca, the gaudy sphinx. Yeah. Tell me, that, that's a beautiful moth. Tell me about it. It's a big green moth. Yeah. But when when it opens. Tell me about the caterpillar. The caterpillar looks exactly like a snake, but a miniature size. Yeah. What's that called when something looks like another creature? Mimicry. Mimicry? Awesome, man. Good job. So do you like exploring with your dad? Yeah. Yeah? Tell me about it. I just loved um, spending time with you because um, you're like my buddy to go um, <laughs> my exploring My buddy, with. right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hey, Lorenzo, thank you so much for your time today, man. Let's, let's get out there and get it done, okay? Hi, babe. How you doing? Hi, honey. How are you? Good. So now, as somebody who grew up with no interest in butterflies or moths whatsoever, can you tell us why the Keys Moths Project, uh, where you found value mm. in it? Even though I was born in El Salvador, and um, I was born and was able to appreciate nature and beauty, um, until I met you, I did not uh, appreciate it to the fullness that I do now. And so now I even hear you like you learn some of the names of the butterflies and the moths. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought that was going to happen, did you? Not at all. No. no. All right. Um, I wanted to um, take this time to personally welcome everyone to Keith Moss and to um, tell you how excited I am as being David's wife to bring something that we have shared as a family in our home and now open the doors and be able to share something that is very dear to us and, and that we hope that you enjoy. Well, I have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, you are the most beautiful moth enthusiast that I've ever seen. <laughs> so thank you for joining us in this, in this time, babe. Uh, let's get out there and find some moths. Thank you, honey, love you. Love you too. <laughs> We spend a lot of time exploring and documenting the natural areas and natural wonders of South Florida. And that's why we created this YouTube channel. We're inviting you to come and explore with us as we discover all of the hidden natural wonders that South Florida has to offer. The best way to stay connected is to subscribe to this channel. By doing so, you'll get all the newest and latest videos and you'll be kept up to speed with upcoming events and all the latest and greatest with Keys Mods. We're also inviting you to get the word out. 
share these videos on your social media platforms. And if you want to comment, please comment down below. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We want to hear from you so that we can know how you're enjoying these videos and how we can better serve our YouTube family. Keys Mods is also on Facebook and Instagram, so if you have those social media platforms, please find us there, follow us, and uh, share us with your friends because we want to grow this community of na nature enthusiasts. We also have a great website. It's www.keysmods.com. If you check that website out, you won't be disappointed because we have all 590 species of moths of the Florida Keys documented there. Uh, over 100 species of butterflies. All of our YouTube videos, all of our pictures are all housed there. Uh, we think you're going to be highly blessed by this website. Well, we sure are excited. We have a great lineup of videos coming your way if you subscribe to our channel. Hope you see you out in the field sometime. And until next time, Keys Moths and the Fine Family hope you enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there.